The Agriculture IoT Sensor is designed to give agriculture engineers data about soil conditions that they can analyze and turn into an irrigation profile to optimize water usage in a given field. Fresh water is a limited resource that is predicted to become less accessible due to rising demands in the future. The agriculture industry is one of the largest consumers of fresh water, accounting for 80% of ground and surface water usage in the United States. Knowing this, optimizing water usage in the agriculture industry would ease the stress. There are also incentives available to use water more efficiently in the form of taxpayer-funded water conservation grants. Our design collects the real-time data on irrigation systems necessary to maximize the efficient use of irrigation water supplies while also maximizing crop yield. The Agriculture IoT Sensor System is a variable number of wireless battery-powered sensor nodes installed in a field to measure soil moisture content and soil temperature. These readings are transmitted via BTLE to a data concentrator node, then transmitted from that node to a cloud database. The data is then displayed in the GUI through Grafana to present the data in a way that is easy to understand. From there, the agriculture engineers can analyze the data and make decisions based on what they see. Here you can see the system starts with a microcontroller node that has both the soil moisture and temperature sensors connected to it. This node uses BTLE protocols to transmit the data to the data concentrator node that grabs the data and formats it to send to the cloud. In theory, the system will have many microcontroller sensing nodes connected to a single data concentrator node which organizes all the data and sends them as a package to the cloud. The cloud stores all the data and uses MQTT protocols to connect the, to the Grafana dashboarding software which provides a clear interface for displaying the data. Based on the data received, steps can be taken to optimize the water usage. In this case, a watering controller controls a water valve that can modify the amount of water in the system. For the microcontroller sensing nodes, we use an Atmega 328PB board connected to a waterproof DS18B20 temperature sensor and the waterproof SEN0193 soil moisture sensor. The soil moisture data is read in using the ADC module in the microcontroller, while the temperature data is read in using a one-wire interface. After reading the data, it will have to be formatted in JSON and sent via BTLE to the data concentrator node. The data concentrator node is just a Raspberry Pi device. The node scans for active microcontroller sensing nodes, attempts to connect to them, takes the data, then transmits to the cloud. Data is stored in an Amazon RDS database. From there, it is connected using MQTT protocol to Grafana, which is a software for creating a visual interface for data. This is a sample data graph showing the interface for how data could be presented using Grafana. This flowchart is a more detailed description of the logic behind the data gathering and transmitting. The node gathering code sleeps for 30 seconds to make sure that no sensor node is awake for too long. A store and forward file is generated for each configured node. If the node cannot connect to the database, data is stored in the store and forward file. Once the cloud database is connected and the data is pushed to cloud storage, the store and forward file is flushed and the data is put into a local history file as well. Practically, the sensing nodes will have to be placed in the ground. The idea is that the nodes can be buried at the beginning of the planting season and dug up with the potatoes at harvest. Knowing this, the sensor nodes need to be sturdy enough to withstand being dug up with the potato harvesting machinery. To solve this problem, we will encase the nodes in a PVC sheet which we know can withstand the impact of the machinery. Future models may optimize the material used for this protective covering with regards to strength versus cost, but this original model will use PVC just for the certainty of its strength. The applications of this product are extremely flexible. The, the backbone of this product is its wide range data sensing, cloud connectivity, and readable interfacing. Though this model was made with specifically potato farming in mind, the system can be modified to fit the needs of any crop by changing the sensors and changing the reactions to the data, in this case, the water valve. 
with need-based modifications, it could handle any case where data needs to be recorded over a wide area.